Now today we're looking at Iron by Wink Magic. Wink Magic is another YouTube channel that mostly does cardistry, but does a little bit of magic and mostly cardistry and unboxings for the most part, but it's pretty similar to my channel, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I'll leave the channel to Wink Magic in the description below so you guys can check them out and subscribe to her. Now alongside that, during this video when she is teaching you Iron a self-made cardistry move by herself, I will be doing some interjections just to throw in some quick troubleshooting tips that I found when I was trying to learn it by listening to this tutorial. So super cool move and if you guys want to learn it, this is the channel for you and actually so is that one. So I come up with cardistry tutorials all the time and clearly so does she. So make sure to subscribe and ring the bell and let's get into this one right now. It's always better to have a look at it from this top-down view without all the music and stuff like that. So yeah, this is what the move looks like. Quite easy. We're going to start with the opener. And the opener is just like this. It's a three-packet opener, except it is a four-packet cut. So we're going to split it into four packets by getting half of the middle packet here. Um, but the opener, if you guys don't know how to get into this three-packet thing, I will teach you. But if you already know how to get to this position, then just go to the timestamp I'll leave on screen because, you know, if you guys already know how to do this, there's no point in needing to stick around to watch this part. So if you know this opener, then uh, go to the time on screen right now. So, um, to get to do this opener, it's really simple. You hold the deck in your right hand like this with the thumb on the bottom, the index finger. I mean, the index finger honestly can be anywhere, but I just naturally like to have it curled up on top. And then your middle finger here, your ring finger here, and um, your pinky doesn't really touch the deck. Now, as you guys can see, the fingers are all on the right side of the deck. They're on the right edge. They're not, like, on the left edge over here, because that would be really weird. So you do it on the right edge of the deck, just like this. Even the thumb, the two fingers on top. Index finger can really be anywhere. So then you turn the deck um, over so that the edge is facing up towards you. So this is the left edge facing up towards you. And what you do is you get your left hand and with your index finger, you split off about a third of the deck. That's obviously really simple. Just split off a third of the deck with your thumb supporting on the bottom. Now what's going to happen is this packet right here, this uh, thicker packet in your right hand, you're going to split off half of that with your right hand index finger, so this one that's curled up here, you reach it out, and then you just split off half with your index finger. So now this is what it should look like, it's just really simple, it's three packets supported by your thumb on the bottom. Now what's going to happen after you have done that opener, is you're going to um, take your middle finger and put it on top of the middle packet, and then your thumb and put it on the bottom of the middle packet. And what you're going to do is you're going to split off half of that middle packet and clear it out like that. So what we're doing here today is a four packet cut, which means that you're going to put your middle finger on the top here. Um, it doesn't need to cover the full edge. It can just be half since you're going to split it in half. And then basically this is the long edge, right? So on the, um, l the other long edge, the bottom one right here of the same packet, the middle packet, you're going to put your thumb. So this is basically what it looks like. It's just putting your middle finger on top and your thumb on the bottom and holding it like this. And you're just going to split off half, just like that. So this is what it looks like. Get the middle packet, take off that bit, and also your thumb on the bottom. And then you split it off, right? And what's going to happen is, because it's in your left hand, the packet that you split off with your middle finger and your thumb, it's in your left hand, and you're just basically going to move your right hand forward. The right hand is holding three packets right here, so you're going to move it forward, just like this. And then your left hand is literally just going to twist around, right? And then what's going to happen next is you're going to fold it over so that it's face up, just like this. And you can support it with your right hand ring finger. Now, when you're going to want to drop that fourth packet down and around that bottom packet, you're going to make sure that you hold that packet really low on your hands. So what I'm going to show you to you right here like this, you have it here, and this packet here that you're going to try and bring all the way around into the center here, 
you're gonna wanna hold that really low with your fingers because if you don't, it's not gonna work quite right. So make sure this fourth packet here, you're grabbing at the very bottom with your thumb and middle finger to make sure you can grab it and bring it all the way around. It'll make it a lot easier when you're trying to do the rest of this move. All right, so once you've done that, you're just gonna do a very similar motion um, with the left hand. You're gonna get this packet here, um, the one that is like second from the top, and you're gonna hold it in the same, exactly the same way in your left hand. You're gonna hold the whole packet with your middle finger on the top long edge and then your thumb on the bottom long edge right there. Right, so this packet here, um, middle finger on top and thumb on the bottom. And the whole same thing is gonna happen again. You're just gonna move your right hand forward, right? It might be a bit harder because you've got so many packets to bounce. Move your right hand forward and clear out the left hand packet, the packet that you're holding here. Clear it out again and put it in exactly the same position so that these two packets that you've turned sideways, um, so now by now you've turned two packets sideways. You're just gonna literally clear it into the same position so that you can combine those two packets together, right? And then you move on to do the closer. You hold the deck like this and you kind of open it up so that these the two other packets are forming like a right angle and you let the Jack of Hearts packet fall down so that you're kind of like creating a cube sort of thing here. And your right, your left hand is just going to completely like clear out that packet so it joins with the Three of Hearts packet. So you're just going to move your fingers upwards. Like literally just pretend you're moving your fingers towards like the one in your left hand. So just move your fingers towards this packet right here. And that should make that packet combine. All right, now for this part, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that when it's here like this, it doesn't get caught under this packet with your left thumb. So it could be getting caught there. So what I've done is I push my thumb forward and then it, uh, it gets unstuck from, this, from here. That way this bottom packet can come up and fold into this one. So just make sure that when you're doing this, so you're here, you go through the move, bam, second time, you get through that. It's much harder to do when it's in midair next to your face, but when you're here and you're trying to get it back up, it sometimes does get caught under this pack. So just push forward with your thumb, then it'll be able to slide out easily. Bam, like that, so then you can keep going with the rest of the move. And that's the last of my troubleshooting. And then the rest of the move, um, you, you do one final rotation where you just go like this, so just like that, and you combine the packets. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll try and, you know, uh, reply to your comments, even if it is on Card Perfect Magician's um, YouTube channel. I will try and have a read of the comments. So, once again, open up, middle finger and thumb. You move your right hand forward and clear it out. Rotate it all the way over like that and clinch it with your uh, ring finger. Then move it, move your right hand down, um, get this packet right here with your middle finger on top, your left hand middle finger, and your left hand thumb on the bottom, so you're clinching it in exactly the same way. Moving your right hand forward again, and doing exactly the same motion. So you pull this one back a bit, and get your left hand middle finger, to support that packet that you just put in there. Then you rotate this whole thing um, kind of like forwards 90 degrees. You can let go completely of your um, ring and middle finger of your left hand to let those two packets combine. And I mean over here you can just hold the packets however you want, but you open it up so it's at right angles. You give it a bit of like forward momentum so that that packet drops down. Your left hand, just your fingers, uh, I wish I could like show you guys this more easily, but you basically, your left hand fingers literally just can come forward and that's going to cause that packet to combine with the other one. And it's what, what's going to happen here, you could just close it like this, um, but you can also do a rotation and close it like that. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more content like this. Thank you so much to Card Perfect Magician for allowing me to do this to you, for you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching.